Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Krieger R3 waste pack and uh, I'm going to take you through some of the features that it has. I'm actually going to show you how it's worn uh, and I'm going to put a jacket on for that so it's going to be a little bit complex at times moving in and out of the camera but I'll do my best to show you this product because I just bought it and in fact I bought it from um, Get Geared and the only reason um, I'm telling you is that it was a really nice thing. They chucked in a packet of little sweets and uh, I thought that was a nice touch from them. So I bought it from them and uh, it was the same price as everyone else. It's, a, it's about 75 uh, UK pounds, which sounds like an awful lot for a, um, you know, a, a fanny pack as the Americans call it. Um, you know, it, it, it's a lot of money. However, when you actually look at it in more detail, I, th I think you agree it's probably really worth it. So uh, let me take you through it. So the first thing I did, of course, was to rip it out of the packet and uh, start playing with it. And I didn't really sort of appreciate some of the things it had until I, until I started looking at it in more detail and reading some of the, um, the instructions and things that came with it. Look, firstly, on the back of it, it's got a, a sort of a, a grip system. So it doesn't slide around when it's on you. And I think that's a really good idea because if you, if you use a, a really cheap bum bag, they can just swivel around. And you really don't want that with this one because it's designed to be fit, to, to fit the back at the small of your back um, and then swivel it around. So I think it's really clever. That's a nice touch that is to have that sort of grip surface on it. And uh, I'll show you what I mean actually without putting the jacket on for a second so you can see it. But you can put this around your waist and it sits nicely in the small of your back and you don't actually, actually you can barely feel it it's amazing um, and then you can swivel it around to grab any objects you might need now why does why do you need something like this why not just use your jacket well i don't know about you guys but um i'm finding that a lot of things are just too big and too uncomfortable to carry all the time so for example the phones are getting bigger. You know, that's a big phone and it won't go in the top of my um, jacket, the Bell Staff jacket, the riding jacket I've got. So if you try and put that in there, it doesn't fit. If you put it in your pocket, I'm not entirely sure if it'll fit, but if it does, I have done this before, yeah, I can turn it sort of sideways. Um, it's really uncomfortable. It just sits in the wrong place. So for me, a um, some sort of system for carrying my phone and, of course, recording gear, etc., would be very handy. The other thing, of course, is passports. Um, I'm always worried about losing my passport when I travel. I've got this big trip coming up to Chile in South America. I'm going, uh, as you know, right from San... For the people that follow the channel, right from Santiago down to Tierra del Fuego, Ushuaia, and um, it's going to be about six, six or seven weeks of, of riding. And you know, I really don't want to lose my passport by having it not quite fit a pocket, uh, and and you know, be, be blown away in, in the high winds or just being stupid and laying it on the back of a chair or something and it falling out because it does not, you cannot close those pockets. So um, I want to say a little bit more secure. And uh, I went for the Krieger, as I say, because it, it, it looked really good. So that's just one of the things. Now, the other things it's got, obviously, two, two buckles at the front. You can see those. But what I really like, there's a few extra bits. So you've got an inside pocket like that. I guess driving licenses or whatever. Let's just see if the passport fits. Yep, that's fitting nicely in its cover. Um, and in fact, I've still got the uh, cover on it to protect it in a way. It's obviously a lot smaller than that. Uh, that's that. It's much smaller. So that fits in there. What it's also got is a zip here. And there's, again, a couple of nice things with this. Firstly, the zip, I don't know if you can see that, fits just inside there. So it sort of tucks away a little bit, which I quite like. Stops it getting a little bit rusty or, um, you know, rattling a bit too much. Open that up and you've got a fair size pocket there. So you put the keys and stuff like that in there. That's that's quite nice. But the real beauty of this, of course, is it's got three litres of rolled up dry storage. So much like their um, 
the rucksack that I, I uh, showed recently, the, uh, the, the 18 litre one, it's much the same in terms of you've got um, a bag inside, a removable liner, so you can take that out and clean it and wash it, but that's three litres of extra storage you can carry. And I really like that because no matter what rain is, is going to be thrown at you, you can double roll it, simply click it shut. Cover it back up, and there you go. So, three litres of storage plus the other pockets. Uh, it doesn't slip. And it's got a really, really unique fastening system. So what I'm going to do is put my jacket on and show you how that works. Bear with me. Love my belt stuff. Brilliant jacket. It's a sort of, uh, I've done a review on this, but it's a sort of jacket you could just feel that you could wear anywhere and chuck anything at it, rain, uh, you know, torrential rain, and it just stays bone dry, and it looks pretty cool, I think. Okay, so that's the jacket on. So what it says is that you put this around your waist, and you've got a, 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 a lever here, sort of like a, a pull cord here. You pull that up and forward as much as you can, then tighten it here, and that's it, in position, in the small of your back, okay? So if you want now to, uh, to retrieve anything, you don't have to undo the pack and let it sort of fall around, don't do any of that. You can simply swivel it, and to make it easier, you pull this here, it's like a rip cord on a parachute, you pull this here and you pull it backwards, and that loosens it. And now, of course, you just swivel it round. And you can swivel it around, open up the bag, get what you need. You know, if you're at passport control at somewhere overseas or whatever, pull out what you need, zip it away, do it back up, and swivel it round again. If you want to tighten that, uh, now you've got it in position, let's say you want it on the side, I'll just demonstrate this. So you want to drive on your side and your left hand, you could put it on the other side, of course. Um, simply pull that away, put it forward, and that cinches it tight again. So you don't have to keep undoing the belt buckle um, and, and sort of risk losing it or dropping it or whatever. Quite a neat system, stays firmly in place, and again, very comfortable on the side. I, would, I could ride all day with it there, or on the back for sure, and uh, I think that's a great system. Now, what I did do was try it with the rucksack on, uh, and neither have both been filled with equipment, but as it was both empty, it seemed to work. But I'm not gonna give you a, a judgment on that yet until I filled them both with luggage and tried it out. So, um, I'm a big fan of Krieger. I think they make some really clever stuff. And actually, as I say, if you look at all the features of this, item, it actually starts to make more sense and provide better value for money. So there's my thoughts. I haven't used it on a bike yet. yet. I haven't tried it out in the rain, but I've tried the other Krieger items and they are fully waterproof. They've been tested and tested. But I wanted to show you that, how it works, so that you can see that in action if you like. Great piece of kit. Uh, you know, I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you want to um, you know, want more, no more information, just ask me in the comments. But honestly, I'm really looking forward to using that on my trip in South America. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Thanks for watching.